WWE has avoided making a big Liv Morgan mistake. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what that mistake was, when it was going to happen, why it was such a mistake, and what they did instead. Because right now, in case you don't know, Liv Morgan, well, she's a freaking megastar. She is hands down the hottest female star in pro wrestling. She is the hottest star on Monday Night Raw, in my opinion, right? Facts don't lie, y'all. You can view it as, well, it's CM Punk, or it's Drew McIntyre, or it's Jey Uso, or it's Damian Priest or Gunther. But what remains intact is something that has been going on for the last few years, uh, fa- last few months, if I can get it out. I'm so excited about this topic, because Liv Morgan, she has done what a lot of people didn't think was possible. She has gotten over to the point where she is legitimately carrying Monday Night Raw right now. And she has for the last few months. Think about it. You went without Seth Rollins. You lost Becky Lynch. You did not have CM Punk really on a full-time basis week after week after week. Yes, he popped in here and there. It was Liv Morgan who they win, they relied on. She's the one that has been opening and closing Monday Night Raw on a weekly basis. She is the one that has been able to intertwine into so many different characters and so many different storylines. That's what Liv Morgan has done. Liv Morgan has been able to intertwine with The Judgment Day, Dominant Mysterio, Zelina Vega, and Rhea Ripley. Yeah. So now that Rhea Ripley is back after making a recent return on WWE television, confronting Dominant Mysterio after such a great arc, such a great build to this, now it's time. Now it's time that we finally get the match. And this is a match that did not look like it was going to be possible right out of the gate because of Rhea Ripley's injury. Of course, I'm talking about Liv Morgan defending the women's World Heavyweight Title, or Women's World Championship. Women's World Championship, yes. So, we're going to get Liv, we're going to get Rhea, we're going to get SummerSlam, August 3rd in Cleveland. The reason why this match is so big is because of everything that has come for in it, right? It was the backstory between Liv and Rhea. It was Rhea being injured by Liv, AC joined Sprint. It made her vacate her championship. It made her miss months of her primetime years in WWE. Now, all that being said, that leads us to today's video. Because WWE, well, we're just a few weeks away from SummerSlam on August 3rd, right? WWE, they've already confirmed a lot of matches. Rhea Ripley, of course, returned to WWE television. And just like last week, this week on Monday Night Raw... She didn't get physical with Morgan or anyone else. And that is for a good reason. Because PW Insider reported that Rhea is not expected to wrestle until SummerSlam. The reason for this is because Rhea is currently not 100% medically cleared for physicality. Now, sources have said that they expect that to change by the time SummerSlam rolls around. Until she's cleared, she won't be getting physical. Instead, they will work around the physicality. There was talk that Rhea could have returned in storylines at SummerSlam or the post-SummerSlam episode of Monday Night Raw, which would have been two days after. However, WWE, well, they opted to go with her versus Morgan at SummerSlam. Now, personally, the decision was made because Rhea said that she believed that she would be good to go by SummerSlam, and so they went with it. Here's why they avoided a major mistake. You would have had Liv Morgan off of the SummerSlam card. And that would have been just a tragedy. A damn tragedy. Liv Morgan needs to be on this card. More importantly, Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley needs to be on this card. I don't know if you didn't know this by now, but SummerSlam is kind of a big deal. It's... Arguably, WWE's second biggest event of the year. Of course, you have Royal Rumble right there, biting for that second slot. WrestleMania top dog. But SummerSlam 
if you haven't noticed, and I've noticed this as of late, and I think it's actually brilliant on WWE's part, they've tried to make SummerSlam the new WrestleMania, right? They're starting in 2026. It's going to be a two-night event. Uh, they're going more international. They're having cities and countries host to, to pay to host these events by having site fees, right? And it's crucial that WWE continues to build the brand of SummerSlam. And if you've noticed, let's look at this card because it's a freaking card if I've ever seen one. I mean, it is it is loaded. So here's top matches and really the matches that have been confirmed. You got Cody Rhodes defending the Undisputed WWE Championship against Solo Sokoa. You got Damian Priest defending the World Heavyweight title over Gunther. You got Liv Morgan defending against Rhea Ripley. Bailey defending the women's title against Nia Jax. And Logan Paul defending the United States Championship against LA Knight. Now, if I'm looking at the card, I'm going to say, all right, Rhodes goes over solo. Roman returns after that match. You got Gunther beating Priest to win the championship. You got Morgan retaining if they're smart. Bailey, she retains over Nia Jax because we don't need Nia Jax as our champion. And LA Knight dethrones Logan Paul. That's how I would book it. That's how I would expect it. All right? I think if you go any other way, I think that would be uh, kind of a mistake on WWE's part, and I don't think they're going to do that. Also, if you look at, like, Triple H's booking, it's pretty clear-cut, right? You know where they're going. It's pretty simplistic, and I think that is a good thing. I think if you know where you're going, whether it's um, obvious or not, as long as it's a good decision and it's the right decision and it's the right place to go, just go ahead and do it, right? Like, there's no harm in that. Just go ahead and do it and go with your gut and move on with it. A little more than Rhea Ripley, it's going to happen. I cannot wait. Buckle me up because it is going to be a ride. WrestleStar fam. A few news and notes here. First of all, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload new wrestling content here to the channel. Also, if you would like to further support the channel and my family, please consider dropping some money on a membership. Subscribing to that, you'll get additional content. There's a bunch of awesome perks out there, including members-only videos which i highly recommend you go and check out also if you are looking for some sweet pro wrestling merch down in the description below i have a link with some two sweet promo codes including free shipping all that information down in the description below thank you so much for changing my life my family's life and supporting the channel and i will see y'all in the next video